the traditional taste of home of the regions. German sauerkraut, Korean kimchi, Japanese miso soup. Ira, fermented horse milk, is the nutritious taste of home for Mongolians. It is also known as kumis in different cultures. It has a fermented aroma and a sparkling palate with a refreshing tartness that fills the mouth. In the old days, it was made by many nomads across Eurasia, and the tradition has died out in many areas due to settlement. However, exceptionally, there are few areas where people still make homemade Irak among nomadic Mongolians. If the recipes for Irak were to be lost, the precious culture and nutritious microbes for human body will be gone. This professor from Meiji University has traveled to the grasslands of Mongolia herself to conduct unique research to bring this disappearing knowledge and tradition to the modern world. Hi, I am Yuki Morinaga. I am a geographer and I teach environmental science. Professor Morinaga always loved the snow and has conducted research on climate, snow, and more. She was the first female researcher to be a member of the Japanese Antarctic Research Expedition. So why is a snow scientist studying Mongolian fermented horse milk? It started with a chain of cold weather disasters from the end of the 1990s. I decided to go there, thinking my background on snow studies could be of use. For Mongolian nomads, their precious livestock could not survive winter, as the severe winter weather disaster, Zerd, caused their animals to die off. In response, Professor Morinaga and her research team went to Mongolia to help develop a disaster warning system. But in her fieldwork among the locals, she saw the complexity of life and nature and the true value of traditional knowledge passed down through the generations. I found that providing snow forecast alone is not enough to protect livestock from the jud. If the grass that livestock feed on does not grow in the spring and summer, the animals grow weak. This is not something that can be easily understood from climate data and numbers alone. The traditional diet of the nomads consists mainly of dairy products in the summer and meat in the winter. When the animals are gaining weight, they are milked, and when temperatures drop to when it can be frozen, the meat ties people over until the spring. This is extremely logical wisdom gained from the providence of nature. I was impressed by the nomadic people's traditional surviving strategies in harsh climate. While studying the customs and traditions of the nomadic people, Professor Morinaga became obsessed with Iraq. Her team has carried out a nationwide survey on IRA through the Mongolian Meteorological Network. For nomads who lack access to vegetables, IRA, the taste of home and full of nutrition, is essential for the good health of the locals. Loved by young and old, women and men alike, some say they drink nothing else all summer. However, because of the culture of passing on traditions orally, the process of making Nairag has hardly been systematically documented. As Mongolia too moves towards urban settlement due to globalization, Professor Morinaga's team focused on researching the local environment to make sure this precious traditional knowledge can be retained. They observed the soil, water, and wild vegetation of the area and monitored the movement of Noma's horse herds using GPS. She also organized a tasting competition at a major Iraq producing area, gathering herdsmen confident in their Iraq so that various samples could be gathered in one place. Through this, she gained valuable data, such as how the features that make Iraq delicious are closely related to its electrical conductivity and the importance of the minerals in the water that they use. I wasn't sure if anyone would come. But in the end, people were so helpful, and we got IRAG samples from 50 different families. Everyone was so excited to explain about their own IRAG. I tasted so much IRAG that I almost got an upset stomach. Lately, 
Professor Morinaga had started joint research with Kyushu University to study the effect that the microbes in IRAG have on health. They are comparing the people continuing with nomadic lifestyle and those leading westernized lives in the capital of Ulaanbaatar to see the effect that changes in their diet have on intestinal flora, focusing especially on fermented foods. Elders of the region say the best IRAG is made from the milk of mares raised peacefully on rich pastures. I wanted to find the scientific basis for this and use it to prove the value of this intangible cultural heritage. The study to measure and prove the value of the wisdom of the ancestors through science. Professor Morinaga will continue to explore the world to find traditional knowledge that has yet to be discovered. <laughs>